It's me, once again, Dr. Orlando Walters, Doctor of Physical Therapy, and extraordinary Dorothy. Dorothy. That's right. And um, uh, today we wanted to talk about, well, you know, we decided to, 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 we were talking and we realized that health is wealth, okay? So we wanted to go over a few things and just kind of discuss the things that we've been talking about and we know that it's very important um, for... It's fundamental. Fu absolutely it's fundamental. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of people are probably having these thoughts and queries in their mind and, um, you know, if you had somebody who was a professional, you know, talking about it probably make a little bit more sense. So we just want to relate to individuals and just uh, let them know how health is well. So, uh, how the, do we how do we get healthier? That's right, and that's probably the. I mean, it's it's a simple question, but it gets very deep. So, how do we get healthy, Dorothy? Well, uh, most importantly, by uh, getting rid of uh, the negative thinking. That's right. Very uh, very common. Mm -hmm. um, I include myself. I sometimes feel, um, you know, I have many reasons why not to exercise, why not to work out. Um, why and, not to eat right? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, and actually one of the main objections that we tend to have is, you know, we don't have time. Mm -hmm. We don't have time to exercise um, for many reasons. We uh, have kids mm -hmm. or we are at work. All day. Um, yes, all day, exactly, from nine to five. And when we get home, we're exhausted. Um, also... How about, how about the weather? Oh, that's my it's favorite too here. Hot. The it's too endless cold. summer in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> it rains and it's sunny and it's too hot, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so there are many factors um, and many objections that we put on our way mm -hmm. that prevent us from getting healthier. And then you also, we also, there's individuals who say, you know, it's too far to get to the gym. It's too okay. far to do this. Yeah, the distance. Or um, it's hard to get there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what we're talking about when it comes to the negative thinking, it's just that. We put so many obstacles in front of our, in front of ourselves yeah. um, to help achieving our goal, right. whatever that goal might be. And the first step is just get switching you. that thinking around. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the negative thinking. Yeah. Get rid of it. Practice you know? not uh, putting obstacles or objections. Absolutely. Just practice that, okay? Absolutely. And master that skill. Yes. Um, also, get, being healthy is not actually part of our culture. You won't believe it, but you know, if you see the statistics, um, there's a huge, a large percentage of people, U.S. population, that mm -hmm. is obese, and actually it's um, up to, it's 40%, yes. near 40%. Um, and, and this is coming from the CDC, the Control Disease mm -hmm. Center, and um, they're giving us, uh, yeah, we, we got information data. from them, so it's hardcore data, yeah. you know? So, um, it means almost half uh, the population, it's not at the normal range um, for, for um, obesity, I mean for, for weight. Right. So, so it's 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 thir to be exact, it's thirty nine percent. Thirty nine percent of the U.S. population, age from twenty and older, would be considered as obese. Yeah. And from that percentage, um, eighteen percent, uh, it's uh, children, right. our children, mm -hmm. from two to nineteen. Yes. Eighteen percent of 18. children between two yeah. and nineteen years old yeah. would be considered as obese. Forty percent women. Forty one percent are women. And thirty um, percent are men. So I guess you you guys are more active. Generally speaking, you know. Uh, but you know, again, and, and we can go we can go very very far and very deep into yeah. that in terms of you know uh, boys do more sports and things of that nature. But I believe those things are changing because there are a lot more uh, female um, uh, a lot more females in, in, in girls sports and stuff like that. And I think the I think yeah. the diaspora is really really changing. Yeah. So I'm really really glad for that. So we gotta change those statistics and uh, make uh, the um, uh, lifestyle, active lifestyle, part of our culture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, another thing in terms of the negative mindset um, is I don't have money, you know, oh, and you know, um, that one, yes. I can't get a, I can't get a gym membership. Or it's too you expensive. can get the clothes, the shoes, the equipment, the fancy you know, gear. The That's fancy right. gear. The, yo the yoga pants. Okay. Too expensive. <laughs> also, um, yeah. a, a, a complaint that I hear very frequently, considering that you know we're a therapist in the, ther in the therapy field, is that uh, insurance doesn't cover it. 
And a lot of times individuals, they're not necessarily looking to be uh, super fit, you know, uh, be fitness model. They just want to help reduction from pain. They just want to be able to do just normal functional things. Yes. You're having difficulty you being do able to do that. you not need uh, a huge amount of money no, for that, don't. right? I actually, it was so funny. It was really funny. Uh, I know that there are uh, some homeless people going to the gym mm -hmm. and they shower there. Um, you know, they take advantage of equipment. Uh, and you know, they don't have resources and still they do their best to get in the gym and that affects their mood, their emotions. They found know. a way. They found a way, they found a way. Exactly. Sim as simple as that. So yes. we, I want to encourage inspiring. individuals to find a way. You know, you know what, and yeah. we can show individuals how to uh, find a way without having to worry about expenses mm -hmm. and, and anything like that. All you have to do is just first make the decision and just take the time. Yeah. And, um, and we're, you're, we're, you're moving to another um, important factor here, which mm -hmm. is your mindset, right? Changing your mindset is part of, you know, getting rid of the negative emotions and then um, just moving from imperfect, from perfect inaction to mm -hmm. imperfect action. Simply right? put. Just do it. Just do it. Just, just do, do it. it. Yes. Uh, simply put, a lot of times we have this thing in our mind. Mm -hmm. We want to have uh, the perfect situation that has to be the, 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 the right gym, the right conditions, the right trainer, the right this, the right that. And next thing you know, a week passes, a month passes, a year yeah. pass, and passes, and you didn't yeah. do anything in order to get um, what you really, really want. So um, Awareness. So yes. you have to have a purpose and be aware. And if you uh, don't have the, the tools to to uh, set up a plan, you can contact a professional that you know can give you uh, an easy route, uh, a proven mm -hmm. route that works um, to help you fulfill your goal. Right, and to be honest, let's 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 be honest. In today's uh, time, this day and age, there are so many resources out there, and let's be honest, they're right at the, the click of the hand. You know, your yes. cell phone, your computer, and things of that yes, nature. There, there are no excuses. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know individuals who do online uh, consultations and things of that nature. So if distance or travel or weather or, money. or you know, or money is an issue, yeah, something, you get on the phone, super easy. Mm -hmm. You have your YouTube, you have your Facebook, yeah. you have us. So try, there's so many resources. There's so many resources out there. I definitely suggest you guys take the time to yeah. use the resources that plan. are that, that, that's right there in front of you. Yeah, set up a plan and try it. And there's no failure. If you feel you're failing and your plan is not going, it's not taking the, the, the route you uh, expected, reset, okay, and, and, and try it again, okay? We're designed to explore uh, and try different strategies and again, it's just feedback. Okay, you're, you're gonna get maybe uh, some results, mm -hmm. uh, and from those results, you just you know measure and uh, adjust. That's right. Adjust. So a little Try. taking one small step mm -hmm. is taking is better than not taking any steps at all. You know. So again, the yeah. mindset, being aware, knowing, okay, maybe I have the, I have put these obstacles in my own in my own way. And um, how do I how do I how do I change that? And sometimes just take a little step. Mm -hmm. Maybe get a partner, speak with someone, or seek advice, or just look at something someone you can relate to, or anything like that. Just do something and yeah. become aware. It's and then for us, we know for sure that that it works for you. Mm -hmm. And um, you were gonna say that I would say you know just be aware. be aware so that you can change your habits. So that you start making the necessary steps, and sometimes it's, it's just a little. You make that slight tweak, and it makes a huge yeah. uh, it's result. Exponential. Yes. 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 Then you take massive action. Definitely. Yes. Massive action. Yes. So in let us perfect know. action. It's better than perfect inaction. Uh, that's a saying that I really like, mm -hmm. and uh, I want you to feel motivated. And if you don't feel motivated, um, there are ways to reach. You know, to people that can tell you how important and how, and the, how how big uh, the results will the, the oh my god the taking action mm -hmm. results will uh, be in your life in different aspects your wealth your uh, relationships so that you feel like this has a meaning. 
Okay, it works. There are so many opportunities out there and there should be no reason why we don't take advantage yeah. of the simple act act activities. I mean, simple um, opportunities there are. Now, uh, something that I hear very frequently is um, I'm injured, you know, which is a reason why I might stop individuals from, from taking, you know, taking steps. Um, I'm in pain, you know, that's one major thing. And I want to talk about that because a lot of times individuals when they have, I have pain, they say, I shouldn't do anything. But ironically, and there's research to back this up, a lot of times when you have a lot of, when you have pain, it's probably better, not probably better, it is better that you maintain a certain degree of activity Correct. that's it's going that, to help. Yeah, it keeps, keeps you flowing, keeps mm -hmm. you moving, keeps your joints and, and muscles uh, loose. Because mm -hmm. um, if you lose movement, you get uh, friction, stagnation, mm -hmm. you don't use it, you lose it. And it's, it's just a cycle, a vicious cycle that. And it will snowball in the wrong way as well. Yeah. You know? Then another thing I hear is, you know, um, I'm, 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 I'm stressed. You know, I have too many things on my it's mind and, and things of that nature. Yes. Now, now, let's be honest. I mean, who isn't stressed? I mean, there's a lot of things we have on our plate, but it's how we manage Correct. that stress. Yes. You know, so um, it takes, you know, mm -hmm. I always tell individuals, you know, you have to be a CEO of yourself, you know, or your household, yeah. your family. Yeah. If you think about a CEO, their job is to be as efficient and, and effective as possible so they can manage for the overall better of the company or of yourself or of your family. Yeah. So managing stress. Yeah, and being comfortable. Being comfortable. Being uncomfortable. That's right, that's right. Yeah, and and also accounting all of the situations and then setting up a plan to be able to, to manage those things uh, safely, effectively, safely, and, and, and things of that safe nature. First. You know? yeah. So, um, and then um, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm uh, fatigued, I don't have the energy level. <laughs> right? You know, your nutrition is, plays a, a huge role mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, in your mood and your emotions. So also looking into uh, better ways to uh, nourish your body. Mm -hmm. And then so, maybe um, not binging on your favorite show on Netflix or Hulu yes. or, or even YouTube, yes. you, know? Uh, you know? Uh, uh, I'm currently watching a housemaid's uh, tale. V very interesting. Anyway, we don't have to do that, but sometimes you have to force yourself not to watch, you know? But, um, but yeah, I mean, sometimes you just have to we set, do, set parameters do. for yourself. Yes, correct. You know? Yeah. Um, set parameters, yeah. and, and, that, and that comes in with the awareness, being aware exactly. of your situation. And setting your vital priorities. Priorities. Yeah. Priorities. Set your priorities, set your goals. And sometimes writing it down. Sometimes you just write yes. it down, and you get that reminder. A you got sticky notes, you got sticky bags. A nice exercise mm -hmm. to, to uh, help you clear your mind and uh, have cl clarity um, throughout your the execution of your plan. So journaling is really, really important. Also, so along with the journaling, plan. surrounding yourself with individuals who have the same goals as you. Yes. I, I, I tell my son, you know, in high school, you see Don't the, be shy. You know, <laughs> the football players hang out with the football players. The chess club hangs out with the chess club. You know, the science guys hang out with yes. the science guys, you know, because they have likeness and they want to push mm -hmm. each other into the same, yeah. into the same they realm. Mm -hmm. You know, they relate to each other. So uh, definitely find, find a partner, find somebody who, yeah. who wants to get in the same direction you because they hold you accountable. Are there free uh, meetups, events, and oh, stuff yeah. that, you know, you can join and yeah. There you go. Set up a goal, maybe join one of those once a week. There you go. Yeah. And, and also, just in case you guys um, have those things in mind in terms of meetups, we do do uh, things where we, we get together and we have individuals come out and we do free uh, sessions, yeah. uh, seminars, courses, and things of that nature. Uh, friends and family. Friends, family, and also individuals who just are you know, in, in the circle who just want to get better. Yeah. You know? So we do those things as well. But changing the mindset, guys, it's the first step to make uh, transformation okay a change in your well-being so if you have any questions um, we are here to help you to provide support um, and just join you in your journey and and uh, I'll be frank I don't know any and everything so if I don't know everything and you ask a question yeah. I will either research it and find it for you or point you in the right direction or wherever the direction yes. might be um, <laughs> into some to someone who can get it because I think I think as it is right now, information is is the most uh, uh, valuable resource and commodity. Yeah, and you gotta be responsible. Yes, yes. Yeah, so about the information um, you you uh, use and, and work. Yes. With. Yeah. Yes. So. Um,
guys, thank you. Thank you for listening. Yes. Thank you. And well, thank you, Dorothy. I thank you, my friend. This is right. a very serious topic for us. Yeah. I hope it is for you. Yeah. All right. Well. You guys have a good one. Uh, we'll catch up with you guys later.